used to harp uh, when I went to the blind school in Edinburgh. I started off learning Scottish traditional tunes, so things like the Dark Island, Mary's Wedding, you know, Loch Lomond, uh, Ereskine Love Lilt. The harp is a really nice instrument to have at a wedding because the pipes have their very own place as well. Uh, they're really good for outside gigs and um, the harp is something that's a bit more soothing. I mean they're all special in their own ways but I think you get occasional ones or you get ones every few months where you think it's, it's very special and it's, it's different. It's um, very special when a couple actually meet up with you and want to choose tunes. For the wedding side of things or the function side of things, I've tended to find that I've had to adapt my repertoire. As soon as people hear you play Metallica, then they automatically get quite excited about it and think, oh, I wonder what else you could do. I have broadened my repertoire to include things like Adele, Florence and the Machine, Take That, Northern Keating, and a couple of film things like from Braveheart and Last of the Mohicans. I go to care homes. Um, I have played harp in, in, for the library service before as well, and they've done any sort of book launches. And I have had a couple of corporate gigs. I was at Glenfiddich just a few days ago doing a, a dinner, and I've also done the Spirit of Speyside Whiskey Festival this year. I also do workshops called Harping Back. That can be Harping Back, which is the, tr the original traditional music, um, Scottish music, asking people to recall memories of life of their life basically gone past. And then I did set up a website, inspirationalharping.co.uk, and um, there are some music samples on there that people can listen to.